Good morning, guys. We are live here Friday morning. Woo! Friday. Oh, good one. Friday. <laughs> so we wanted to talk about detoxing a bit. We just had an event last night that went fantastically. It was so much fun. And uh, so we want to talk about that tonight and then... Our tonight. <laughs> Maybe he's still in the past. <laughs> it was so much fun that you're still living in last night. Well, it was a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I think anytime you do those events, it's really the it's the group that makes them. Yeah, for it's, sure. And we had a group that was a whole lot of fun. Lively, <laughs> fun, funny. <laughs> a lot of questions. Like, there's a lot of good questions. A lot of people that were, were engaged and mm. wanted to learn. And those, uh, it just means a lot when you have a, a great group there that is interested in what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we love questions. <laughs> so it does it does make it make an evening or an event more eventful. Ooh. With questions. <laughs> so we wanted to do kinda like a little recap and do talk about detoxing a bit because it's it's an important topic mm-hmm. that that at least we feel doesn't isn't talked about enough. Yeah, and you know what's interesting is detoxing should be in, in our opinions all the time. Because we always talk about detox after the holidays, for example, but there's always something. Drew and I talk about this often. You know, we just had Christmas holiday. Then there was New Year, New Year's. And there's, in a couple of weeks, Valentine's Day coming up. So if we just do, um, like, quick detox after a holiday, then we get right back into to more treats and more refined sugar, more toxins, more chemicals. So if we learn how to live detox lifestyle, then we don't have to be always constantly worried about these holidays that there's always something, right? One ends, another begins in a matter of weeks. So um, it just helps us to live this way sustainably. Right. And it's always, it's like prevention. We talk about Mm -hmm. prevention all the time. So it's the same kind of thing when we're always preventing instead of, you know, when you have uh, an injury, for example, and then you strengthen that injury and you take care of it, you ice it, you heat it. And then instead of doing that only when you're injured, you should do that all the time. Right. And work towards prevention, I suppose. And something came up last night about inflammation. Inflammation is a big issue. Many of us are inflamed in different ways for different reasons. And if your body's always inflamed and you're always in pain, and that's where you get those chronic issues that are always coming up. So when we talk about detoxing, we can de- live a detox lifestyle and always be always be working towards a healthy lifestyle instead of just at certain times like those quick fasts yeah. or short weekend detoxes. You know, and there's so much out there, it can be difficult like to choose, right? Because there's... All these different ones, juice detoxes, soup detoxes, and I heard of an apple one once. Oh, like, I heard of an orange. Oh my gosh, like, just like the way we teach is, is to eat real food, like whole foods all the time so that, you know, that we don't have to keep trying to find the next best thing that will work because... We know whole food works, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that's kind of our our whole philosophy on detoxing is to live a, a detox lifestyle instead of these quick seven day, twenty one day detoxes, and then going right back to the refined sugar or the or the preservatives and mm-hmm. other, among other things. And it can be simple. One of the things that we made last night was a, a detox soup. Oh, very simple. So, um, just going to post a screenshot here of it. But this soup, a few veggies. So, there's uh, leeks, broccoli, zucchini. What am I missing, Drew? I'm missing something. Su- oh. Celery. And it's super easy to make. You just uh, saute your garlic in coconut oil, add your leeks, chopped up leeks, and then put your water in, about six to eight cups of water, with the broccoli, zucchini, and celery, and let it simmer away. It's awesome. And you know what's surprising? I think green stuff gets a bad name. And I don't know why, like we've talked about this in the past, but I, I don't know why like it's a green stuff that we're like, oh, it's green like broccoli or Brussels sprouts because they can taste good and they do taste good. 
And so many people were like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how good this soup tastes. Mm -hmm. And it's just green stuff. It's just I mean, green. It's the nice combination of flavors that all complement each other. But it's just, just kind of funny to me because it's always like, oh, green stuff. But if you actually give it a chance, and of course there's health, tons of health properties, but if you give the flavors a chance, you'll be surprised about how, how good they taste. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's always surprising it, it, introducing different veggies like into your diet. Like some people had never eaten a leek before, had, had never seen a leek before. So it's always interesting to introduce new veggies in or, or new foods in general in, into your diet. Avocado is a big one. Uh, avocado, yeah. A lot of times people haven't had avocado before. Like, or you like have adults. it once, right? And avocado is a tricky one because they have to be like the perfect ripeness. If you've had it overripe or underripe and got like a bad taste in your mouth, <laughs> well, that, right? Then you're in less likely to try again. But um, we're, we, we, be, we believe in the way of preparing foods, right? And eating them with the, uh, the right freshness, right? Mm -hmm. As well. I had a couple screenshots I want to show here. We had so much fun last night, and we have some. Um, this is Ginny and Heather. <laughs> and they were a ball of fun. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so much fun! We laughed and joked around, and that's uh, one thing that we enjoy about our events too. Is you know, um, Drew and I, we like to joke around. We like to have fun. We're not, you know, uh, how do you call Seriously. it like? Okay, we'll call it serious. <laughs> We're not so serious, so it's it's nice when in the crowd we have people that 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 are like that too. And so we, we had detox. This was they bought a complete truth protein. Of course, we featured at the event. And that's our product. And it's when we when we talk about protein supplements, there's so many toxins in protein supplements, and uh, that's why we wanted to prevent or pre present I suppose or offer a better option like complete truth where it's made from whole food and it's toxin free gluten free um, soy free dairy free so a lot of people that have t different types of allergens they have to deal with not being able to find proper types of products mm -hmm. that uh, they can supplement their body properly so complete truth protein was something we featured then you can see the ladies there holding up detoxify yourself we have a group coming up here soon it's a private group and we're going to walk you through the 30-day meal plan in the book and uh, the, the whole complete living a healthy lifestyle. And, uh, yeah, I just think it's it's pretty cool that we had got a chance to, to be in front of uh, our audience and they got a chance to learn about living a detox lifestyle. Now, uh, you can see these ladies are coming in their group and we go to a whole handful of them. And it's only – the book is nineteen ninety nine. It's like 20 bucks yeah. <laughs> and we're offering full 30 day support. And I think that it's, it's, it's pretty hard to find. So if you're interested, you can let us know in the comments below and we'll set you up with more details. And you know, the thing is too, it's, we designed the meal plan for the everyday average person, I guess you'd say. So it's not, comp it's not complicated food and it's not exotic ingredients that you're never going to find. And, you know, we know what it's like to have limited time to be in the kitchen or to prepare food and be on the go. So that's how we designed the meal plan was with that in mind, you know. So it's simple meals <laughs> that you can put together and um, it's, it's not difficult. Yeah, and finance is another one. Everyone right. wants to know, like, are the meals expensive or do I have to go and buy, like, exotic, yeah, exotic types of foods to detox and like we're in the mindset like you need to live a detox lifestyle all the time and all the time you're not going to go and buy all these crazy types of foods that you have like on a special night right so they're they're very you can buy every ingredient from the grocery store from a conventional grocery store or from a market like uh, we're pretty fortunate to have the old uptown market for example mm -hmm. but that's all, all local products and local vendors and businesses but um, it's, it's very simple. And so we have, uh, Dorothy, who do we have here on the screen? Leona. Leona. Mm -hmm. And she's taking her green detox soup home with her. And that's pretty cool. That's something about our events that we always bring, give you a chance to bring food home. Home. Yeah. So Leona's holding her, uh, she has a detox for herself book. She has complete truth protein. And then she has her soup that she's hopefully going to have for lunch yeah, today. I hope so. <laughs> Um, detoxing in the bathroom is a big one. Yeah. Is it? We, we often think of it as what we put in our body, what we eat and what we consume, but, and forget about the toxins we put on our body, which 
the bathroom is one of the most toxic places in our house. In our, I don't think we think about like our skin's our biggest mm-hmm. organ. So you like, I always think like you're rubbing this like toxic lotion on your body or I don't know. What else do you rub on your body? Like? Well, like t- everything, shampoos, face creams, lotions, hairspray, like hair products, like it's endless really. Um, deodorants, right? Yeah. And we don't consider that, that what we're putting on our body goes in our body. So Toothpaste. we're like... Sorry, I thought of another one. Toothpaste. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I lost my voice a bit from talking last night um, at our event, but we, uh, I, I just think that we don't realize that that goes in, like it's, it's our, our skin's an organ. So we're like it's rubbing, like think body. about rubbing a chemical in your body on an organ. Like it's, <laughs> it's crazy. It's the same difference. But if you read the ingredients and you have all, all these types of ingredients, you can't read, you can't pronounce. Those are chemicals. Don't put it on yourself. Stop, <laughs> stop, stop putting it on your body or in your body. Because either way, it's going inside. Then we, our body has to work extra hard to fight that off. Yes, yeah, it's, it's no different really than if we eat something toxic, right? It's going in our body. If we put something on our skin, our body still has to fight it off, like fight those chemicals off. Mm-hmm. And then we have, so we we did our detox. We do detox all the time. We have our, our whole group coming up, like we mentioned here, well, in only a couple of days, isn't it? Well, we're going to open the group today, actually, and we start Monday. It's in a couple of days, but it's not too late. Yeah, so you can come and join if you want. Uh, we'd love to have you. Again, you have full support. Dorothy and I are going to be in there every day, and you get a chance to um, see what it's like to live a healthy lifestyle and feel mm-hmm. energized and feel great and prepare meals at home that your family is actually going to enjoy. Mm-hmm. And then we have another event. Tell us about another event we're excited oh, about. I'm super excited about this one coming up uh, for Valentine's Day. And we're going to be making uh, or showing how to live. Um, I don't know how to say it, but <laughs> how to have a holiday, Valentine's Day in this case, without refined sugar. So refined sugar free treats for Valentine's Day. So we're going to be whipping up raw chocolate. We have a cupcake recipe that's actually healthy, like has health benefits to eating the cupcake. Crazy, I know. And it tastes great. Delicious. It's delicious. And I actually, it's kid approved. Because I was actually testing out the recipe um, when my niece was around, who's two years old. Ate it right up. Didn't even know, right? They don't know if they're two or she's two. Like, don't know. It's uh, it's made with quinoa, like, and no sugar. <laughs> and so we got our chocolate, our, our cupcake, possibly some other treats, cookies. Maybe uh, we'll throw in. Uh, we talked about different things. The list is not confirmed yet, but maybe some chocolate pudding, but all kinds of different healthy treats so that you can continue a detox lifestyle even when the holidays pop up yeah so it's going it's going to be a raw chocolate and treats uh, raw chocolate and treats for (laughs) valentine's day so we're doing this a bit early so you get a chance to learn how to make it so you can have you can have healthy chocolate and then we have easter coming up after that so you can know how to make how, how easy it is to put together raw chocolate recipes as well as delicious cupcakes for example and a few other surprises that dorothy has put together that are mm. amazing so get and, excited about that one yeah and i know like from from my teaching background it can be stressful for parents around holidays in school like in classrooms because you know there's classroom parties for example and you don't know what to send right but or if you know you make something healthy are the kids gonna like it but i can guarantee you with this chocolate cupcake recipe that they won't even know like they won't. So it's, you know, we design our recipes in a way that it's kind of hidden. Like you wouldn't know the difference, you know? So that, that was really cool for me to see that my little, you know, two year old niece just eating it up. And it's all clean ingredients. It's all, they're all clean ingredients. They're all, um, ingredients that we, that our body can understand and utilize and absorb. Many times we have those toxins, we have those refined sugars in our bodies. Like, what are you doing to me? Mm-hmm. Or especially when mm-hmm. it comes to kids, the kids are like bouncing off the walls when you give them a, a bowl of cereal, you know, and we, we don't really put the food together with the, with their emotions or with their actions. So 
uh, you can give them these types of treats and you're not going to see their blood sugar go through the roof as they bounce around the house. <laughs> so I think that's good. Yeah, that's coming up. I don't think we mentioned that's coming up February 1st. So Okay, February yeah. 1st. So we'll put out a, a link in the bottom for those of you that are interested in signing up and joining us uh, in person. Yeah. And you guys see us a lot through videos or through our, our posts right here on this page. So um, it's, it's always very cool to see people in person. Yeah. That have, especially the ones that have been following us and like, oh, I watch you all the time. And then we get a chance to meet them. It's, it's very cool. It is. It is, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be back here next Friday at about 830 Mountain Time. So come on in and ask questions. If you have any topic suggestions, we're always open to hearing what you want us to talk about. Yeah, let us know. I love getting topic suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a great weekend. Have a fantastic fry. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and have a wonderful detox weekend. All right, guys. <laughs> Catch you later. Take care. Bye.